You talk about stars, Solomon Elamimian. There were questions coming in here on the Facebook feed about have did the Riders sign damaged goods? He hasn't been on the field yet. What was yesterday? 16 days through training camp. No Solomon Elamimian yet. I know from my Vancouver context what I believe is wrong with Solomon Elamimian. So I'm watching the situation very carefully to see how this all plays out. One of the words that I got from somebody in Vancouver, one of the terms or phrases was he wouldn't have passed a medical really? if he wasn't fit enough to play, i.e., he couldn't have been that damaged of goods when the Riders signed him because they would have put him through a medical, right, first. Yep. But they got reported by Three Down Nation, $160,000 tied up in Solomon Elamimian, and he hasn't been on the field mm. yet. So there's one star, right, a former most outstanding player in the Canadian Football League. I don't know there's a lot of green Elamimian jerseys being sold out of the Riders store right now, but it is what it is. What are you pointing Van at, Darren? Stone, what do you see? Bring back the dog show. Rob Van Stone says, "Bring would. back the dog it. show." I love um, it, of course. And the wiener races around the I, baseball park. I mean, I, I'm. It is starting to get to the point where it's a little bit concerning with what? El- Elamimian. When is he going to get on the field? Uh, this isn't a team that uh, is going to practice load management. You know, they, they, they can have guys taking extended periods of time off and just cruise their way into the playoffs. It's going to be a dog fight for 20 or 21 weeks now uh, to get into the playoffs. They need every one of their starters. And if this guy hasn't been on the field yet, it's, it's starting to get a bit concerning. Questions on Facebook. Some good ones here. Brian Eitnier says, Rod, you say you can say the way it is now. Why did Willie not resign? Did we try and lowball him or what? Look, I think people are making far too much out of the phrase that I or the notion that I can say whatever I want. I still can. But you have to understand something. Willie Jefferson is from Stephen F. Austin University in Texas. I believe he's from Houston. He doesn't care about the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. He did not grow up idolizing or loving the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. He signed here because of Chris Jones in 2016. They didn't sign here because it's the Rough Riders. And Chris Jones was gone. So he left. It's pretty simple. And now Willie's been around a little bit. In terms of veteran stature, he probably went to the team that he believed had the best chance to win. And maybe the Bombers uh, threw a little more money on top of it, too. That's the key. You just said it. And, and, and don't ever blame the player for taking more money somewhere. And, and I don't know what the contract negotiations were, but careers are so short. This is a business. You, you cannot look down upon this guy. And maybe the Riders didn't feel that he was worth what he got in Winnipeg. So or be it. I mean, he won't they, be the first. He won't be the last. No, and maybe they didn't have the cap room in their scenario or whatever the situation was. But, uh, yeah, you, you absolutely can't blame the player for taking the money. Not in, not in the CFL where careers are short and, and where, you know, you're not signing million-dollar deals. You have to take care of yourself because, hey, that's your skill set. They don't have big fancy. Well, d- well a lot of them. And remember know. what was going on. The, 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 the rider, <laughs> this is where the rider fan has to be careful for what they wish for. Um, the riders were kicking tires on Bo Levi Mitchell, and that was going to be a pretty hefty price tag. Without, More than kicking tires with, on Bo without, Levi Mitchell. Without knowing where the cap was going to be. Now that everything's shaken down, um, you know some of those teams are going to be in a bit of a bind. It's going to, BC, yeah. BC is going to have to do some fancy mathematics. Um, you know, I, I think we were all expecting the cap to go up a little bit, and it didn't. And maybe there's going to be a reset on philosophies about paying the quarterbacks this huge salary. But this is why armchair so, general managers love sports so much well, because jerk. there's so many no, there's so many different ways to skin a cat. So Tom Brady takes less money so that they can spend more money in other positions he's and rare. by the way, he's won six Super Bowls. Where there are other teams that have won Super Bowls that are paying their quarterback or their MVPs the most money and they're paying guys at non-skilled positions less dough. It's a different way of looking at it. Oh, yeah. Would you not want Mike Riley or Bo Levi Mitchell? Anybody would tell you they're the best players in the CFL. Yes. The Riders were prepared to pay Bo for sure. But that's probably and, why. And maybe Mike Riley. But, but maybe that is a factor on why Willie Jefferson is not in green and white this year. I, I is that think what you, you were tying together? Yes, I, and I think you're right. I think Willie's um, loyalty left to Cleveland. You know, I, I think that was a part of it. Uh you have to assume he enjoyed his time here and he, and he played well, but it, it, his loyalty was then tied to money. It, w- it wasn't as much to Chris Jones. And if the riders were shopping around and trying to do the math on where they were going to fit everybody and they thought they had a chance on Bo Levi Mitchell, 
you become a little skittish about paying 200 grand to a defensive end. But I think I know what you're saying, right? I mean, if you've got $700,000 and you're saying, hey, we're, we're giving this to Bo Levi Mitchell or we're offering this money, Willie, sorry. Yep. If that doesn't work out, maybe we'll come back to you and we've got some money for you. And he says, okay, I'm not waiting. Yeah. See? And, 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 and you're right. The as a secondary prize, loyalty. They, got, uh, they got Mika Johnson in here. Um, Pretty good one at a quarter million. But the thing, there here's the thing. Everybody wants to get mad. You, people need to check themselves. They want to get mad at Willie Jefferson because how dare you leave the Saskatchewan oh, Rough Riders? Well, hang on a second. Josh Bartell got kicked out like last week's trash <laughs> because, John, because John Ryan was available. And I pretty intimately know the negotiations or the talks that went on between John Ryan and the Rough Riders in terms of the dollar figures and so forth. Um, it got to a point where there was significant pressure on the riders to sign this guy. John was willing to go somewhere else, but he didn't want to go somewhere else. But, you know, part of the riders thing was they really love Josh Bartell. And he was very cap friendly for the longest time in Josh Bartell's CFL career. He was making the CFL minimum. I'm not sure he did on his last contract or not. But how many times did Craig Dickinson say as the special teams coordinator the last couple of years that Josh Bartell is an excellent punter. He does exactly what we want him to do because people always looked at his is a net punting average and it was the lowest in the league craig didn't care because josh put the ball where they wanted it to be craig dickinson if nothing else is honest he's a lot of great things but one of the number one things is honest we opened the show talking about that because craig was getting roasted on monday for saying that we're not going to be a huck and chuck offense we're going to be a small <laughs> ball offense but I'm, I'm getting off track but craig is a very honest guy they love josh bartell so you Ryder fans, not all the Ryder fans, but some are saying, how dare Willie Jefferson go to Winnipeg? How dare you leave Saskatchewan? And yet on the flip side, let's just put Willie in Josh Bartell's shoes. If somebody had become available that was sexier to you than Willie Jefferson, he'd have been kicked out like yesterday's trash. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a lot of sympathy for no, Josh Bartell right now. No there? sympathy for Josh Bartell. So why can Willie Jefferson not look after himself? And I'm not talking about you specifically, Brian. You think there's some sort of inside story as to Willie Jefferson, why he left? There isn't. He didn't have loyalty to the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. He had loyalty to Team Jefferson, which is the way that it should be. This is not new. Teams over here, players over here. This whole all for one, one for all, again, sounds great when you're painting it on the wall of a locker room. It doesn't really hold as much weight as it used to. And it's whether it's a Chris Jones, the coach, or it's the players, there is zero loyalty anymore. And it's not going back. It's actually probably getting and getting it worse and worse and worse. You're watching Rod Peterson on demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.